Eight Elbows presents Harry Potter, I mean Barry Stevenson and the Magic Rock. Once upon a time, there was a small child named Harry. Uh, I mean Barry. He wasn't just your ordinary child, he was often seen conversing with snakes. Would you like some tea? Oh yes, that would be very kind, thank you. He also had a rather peculiar lightning bolt shaped scar on his forehead. Barry lived with his aunt and uncle and cousin who were very mean and made him live under the stairs. Leading up to Barry's 12th birthday, something very strange happened. A real life, majestic owl delivered Harry, I mean Barry, a letter. I said owl. But daddy, we don't have any owl toys. Flamingo it is then. Barry's uncle stole the letter and wouldn't let Barry read it. But alas, every day, more and more owl, I mean flamingos, delivered more letters. Barry's aunt and uncle were so mean they took Barry and his cousin away to a creepy tiny island to get away from all the flamingos. That night, a giant named Hagger, um, Pagrid broke down the door to find Barry. You're a wizard, Barry. We want you to come to our super fancy school named Hogwarts. I mean, um, Swine Mole. No, no, that doesn't work. Uh, Pig Freckles. Come to our school, Pig Freckles, and learn how to be a wizard. Oh, and also you're famous because an evil guy named Voldemort killed- You can't say that name! Oh, that's right. Ooh, he who must not be named. No, 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 because of copyright. Oh, right. Um, Susan! Yes, Susan killed your parents and gave you that scar. <gasps> Barry caught a fancy train to take him to his new fancy school, Pig Freckles. At school, he met his new friends, Dom and Hermione, and soon to be his arch nemesis, Marco Dalfoy. <coughs> An old talking magic hat almost puts Barry in with the cool kids, but changes his mind at the last minute and decides he can hang with the other, slightly less cool kids. After the head wizard issues a healthy amount of death threats, the three new friends get lost and find a three-headed dog guarding something. Barry, Dom and Hermione make it their mission to discover what the three-headed dog is guarding. Hermione, who is super duper smart, discovers the dog is protecting a magic rock that can make you live forever. They also discover someone's trying to steal the magic rock. <gasps> Obviously it's the emo teacher named Snap, and Harry, I mean Barry, caught him arguing with the other very innocent looking teacher that is definitely 100% not the bad guy. Some super weird stuff happens at Pig Freckles. A troll breaks into the school. A troll in the dungeon! Barry finds a magic mirror that shows his dead parents alive and well. He joins the school flying badminton team. He's given an invisibility cloak, sees a spooky creature drinking blood from a unicorn, and gets a nice new handmade sweater from Don's mum. Oh, and there's a baby dragon, but I don't think that's important to the plot. Oh. One night, Barry, Don and Hermine follow the person trying to steal the magic rock that is not only guarded by the three-headed dog, but all kinds of magical stuff. But never fear, the dynamic trio heroically face the challenges and heroically fly an enchanted heroic broomstick. They get trapped in a nice looking mystical plant that wants to hug them a little too tightly and play a murderously violent board game. Harry, I mean Barry, is the only one to make it to the end of their quest. PLOT TWIST! <gasps> he discovers it wasn't the emo snap after all, but it was Vold, I mean Susan! <gasps> also, he had somehow creepily morphed into the nice innocent looking teacher's bald head. <gasps> but never fear, Barry does some witchery trickery with the magic mirror and gets the precious rock and Susan flees. The school year at Pig Freckles comes to an end. Everyone is happy. Well, except for the dragon and Emo Snap, he, he's never happy. But no one is dead. Well, except for the unicorn and probably that troll, and we forgot to water the pot plant. Everyone boards the fancy train and heads home for the holidays. Join us next time for Barry Stevenson and the Dungeon of Confidential Matters. Hey.